the people over there in Mexico are going to ask you what you do for a living. It's hard to describe. It's so hard to describe, you know, you know like I make masks, but it's not just masks. No. So I, just, I have to describe it. We do this, this giant. That's why I keep the videos, pictures of all the stuff we do here. That way I don't have to explain it. I just show the pictures. <laughs> it's easy for me. It's unbelievable how much people is in monsters, you know, into monsters. Like uh, when I when we go to the trash wall show, you just look, you know, it's like older people and it's like kids in the candy store buying stuff, getting excited about monsters. And uh, I never expect to see people going so crazy for Halloween stuff. One of my favorite props, but one of the old ones, the old ones is uh, an old, always going to be shaking baby. The favorite ones too is the new dragon we have. The one I was so afraid when I started here is when I Ed used to have the showroom and the other building was so dark. When you walk in, flip the switch, and then everything was dark just with the color color lights and the sound. So when uh, Mike or Teresa used to send me to fit something in that room, I was so scared. I was so scared to go in. And, and one of the scared me a lot was the uh, torture body, the one at the table, that one. Because uh, the sound and the way <laughs> The body moves on top of the table. That's kind of kind of real, you know. And I never see something like this, just in movies. <laughs> we need to ship the escape room skull. That needs to happen. Hi, hey, Mondo. Good morning. <laughs> um, Good morning. Did you guys pour the escape room skull yet, or not? Yes, last okay, night. Okay, cool. I've been so that for needs distortions, to uh, I have to ask Janine. I know it's pretty close to 17 years. Yeah. That mold's the perfect. Dick, the Dick Van Dyke thing? Oh, that really? one is perfect. Yeah. Strong, it's pretty thick. Yeah. Um, I guess, I think the thing thick, that stands out most about Mondo is he is an incredibly hard worker. And so he he went down there and he he kept sticking because of his worth, work ethic, but he also, you could throw anything at him. You know, hey, let's do this, that, yeah, cleaning, boom, it's beautiful. Uh, you know, Mondo is a very unique uh, person because he's very intellectually uh, strong as far as problem solving and things, but he's physically strong too. Mondo primarily is involved with mold making, when the sculpt is done, he needs to look at it, make sure there aren't any undercuts or any problems. Uh, pours, well, a year, thousands of pieces. He and Moan, primarily, sometimes they have other people. Pouring, putting the armature in, pulling. They do a wide assortment of stuff too, Mondo does. Depending on the piece, he's involved in design. And also, of course, he's, he's awesome at finish up. So like, you know, if we're needing to get a big order out and so forth, he'll get involved in that. A lot of people just think that this is the best job, but uh, it is. But for me and Mon and uh, the people, the ones we work here, uh, <laughs> to do this is not easy. Same as like a uh, construction worker, or worse. It's a hard physical job, plus it's all dirty. Couple of the new ones too, quit getting the feet of the jet the sleeping giant feet out of the moons. That one, I think that guy, he lasts like an hour and a half, two hours. 
But the other one, the one was uh, getting the gator out, he probably he lasts like 45 minutes. He just tried. It was so hard for him, he walked out. Because uh, I'm 45. We can bring a couple kids in the 20s. And uh, those kids don't go to do what I do every day. I'm going to give it to everything. I came to work, clock in. After I clock in, I don't care what kind of job we have here. Cleaning, molding, pouring, patching, hopping, cleaning, I don't care. If there's something for the company, that's what I do. Okay. My father, like a lot of people think, oh, I have my father, my mother going to help me. You know, like when you're a kid. I don't have that. And I don't want like my father to help me. Always I ask, show me, teach me. I don't want your money. Just show me how to make the money, how to work like you. And uh, that's how I learned. That's how I learned. I, I started working when I was uh, eight years old. And we're talking about hard work. Let me tell you about my dream. My dream was to come here to work. To find a better future for my family, for me. And uh, one of the best... The, uh, the best, the best, the best uh, ever happened to me is come to this country, find my first job. I work in a restaurant, save the money, and I start building my mom's house. It's not a fancy house, but at least she don't pay rent anymore. And after that, like I said, I feel very proud of myself because I did uh, my dream. That was my dream to have a uh, to build my mom's house. Now I'm doing my second one. That's for me, you know. And uh, well, thanks to this job, uh, I'm making my other dream come true. And it's not easy. The first time I stay here. 10 years before I went to Mexico where I would see my mom, my family, my sister, my brothers, nothing. At that time was no uh, cell phones. My mom, even my mom, she used to cry and she was on my sister, just tell me the truth. He, he is dead, he died or what? Because I don't hear his voice, I, I don't see his pictures. I, it's not a easy to have the life I have. But at the same time, I learned a lot. And uh, that make me so proud of myself. Let me tell you this, I had to put attention about how old I am, how old I g I'm getting here. This is part of your life. You have to work and then uh, just enjoy your life, like in the weekends, to spend a little bit of time with my grandkids and my daughter. And uh, I come back to work Mondays and uh, like nothing, you know. Uh, if I have 17 years working for the station, I want to be here to I, or 40, 50, I don't care. <laughs> the best we can do here is just to work together and team and we are not young anymore, so we have to figure out the easy way not to do nothing heavy and uh, to keep working for the stations and uh, stay in good shape. Because if you have problems, other people have problems too. So what I'm trying to do is just try to do my best to take care of myself. That way I can help somebody else. It's the only way. To
Do you think that'll be a hit? Oh, that one, yeah. 